thought maybe I was going to be off the hook when you said the last person. I thought maybe I was going to escape from this. I'm getting <laughs> talked into this thing. I've never done this before. <laughs> and um, I mean, I've told this story before. Uh, I'm a teacher. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> and I've told the story. My kids effing love this story, but I've never told it to grown ups before. Um, because, you know, it's pretty embarrassing. Um, and uh, so I grew up in the suburbs of northern, well, the northern suburbs of Chicago. And, um, you know, my, my brother and sister and, and I and my mom and dad had things were pretty good. We weren't really religious or anything. But, you know, we have a, you know, unlike the, we had the religious connotations, I think, from the story from you, I think, yeah. And also the school connection. So, you know, I think I went to church, like we went to Presbyterian church maybe on Easter once or twice, and there was the dude with the thing. Um, uh, but my, 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 oh, the, okay, it's really serious and sad. My parents got divorced when I was in eighth grade, the summer of my eighth grade year. I was about to start high school. My parents divorced, and I left. We went from, you know, the suburbs of Chicago down to the northern suburbs of Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, buckle of the Bible Belt, 1981, uh, back before Nashville was the, you know, music publishing mecca that it is now where everyone who lives there is from New York, Chicago, and L.A. Back then it was people from like, hey, I'm from Arkansas, where are you from? Uh, <clears throat> well, of course, and from Nashville. Bill Monroe, whew. Uh, so anyway, um, well, my cousins lived there. So we, my parents got divorced, and it was sad. You know, woo And we went down there. My dad stayed in, in uh, Chicago, and my brother, sister, and mom, and I went to, to Nashville. And my cousins and aunt and uncle and grandparents all lived on the same street. Not kidding. We lived on the same street when we moved down there. And, um, and they were all like, man, Mark and Greg, man, they use such bad language. They take the Lord's name in vain all the time. Because we were like, God damn it! You know, we were just, we were just, you know, whatever. We just didn't know. I mean, we didn't have a religiosity. So, anyway, so ninth grade, I'm in gym class, and um, you know, I'm out there. I had been like a musician. I wanted to. I was a classically trained cellist. I was going to be the next Yo Yo Ma, which my brother said, Oh yeah, your friend Yo Mama. Huh? <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Because he liked Iron Maiden, so it was different. Um, but uh, I, I, you know, I just w didn't do athletics. But I thought I was athletic, and so my first day in gym class down in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, I'm out there playing soccer, and I'm thinking I'm killing it because I'm like, man, look at my moves, man, check me out. And uh, pardon me, there's going to be some profanity right now. Um, apparently, I wasn't very good because I said things like, "Shit, this motherfucker, damn!" and um, <laughs> Yeah, but I, I still thought I was pretty good. At the end of gym class, Coach Adams, who was the coach of the soccer team, by the way, said, uh, Mark, I need to talk to you in my office after class. And I was like, dude, he, he digs me. I'm totally getting recruited for the soccer team right now. <laughs> so I walk up there, I'm like, hey, what's up, coach? He's like, Mark, we don't take the cussing in class. That's three licks. I'm sorry, pardon me, three, three what? He said, that's three licks, you cussed in class, we don't accept that. You need to put your hands on the desk. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Out comes the paddle. <laughs> and, <laughs> okay, here we go, ready? Three licks, which, my, my mom had hit me with a wooden spoon, no, I mean, I wasn't like never, you know, I've been punished before, but a teacher hitting me? How dare you strike me? <laughs> you are going to lay a hand on me? Wait till the lawyers get a hold of this. And of course, the worst part was, not only did I get three licks, the first one was way too low. Ow. The second one was on the hip bone. Ow. And then, of course, the Goldilocks, you know, right in the buns there. But I was like, I'm like you know, the cheeks are, I just couldn't believe that this adult had struck me. And of course, now this would never happen. But talk about a new beginning. Like, talk about culture shock. And when I went home that day and said, Mom, he hit me. And she said, well, did you cuss? 
Thank you.